This is the Marvel Legends series Thor Ragnarok Thor and this is Thor sporting his new gladiator look for the third installment of the Thor Cinematic Universe franchise and a lot of people have been hating this new look. A lot of people have also been liking this new look. I'm I'm okay with it. Um, for me, wait for the movie, watch the movie before you start judging how the new character looks. Admittedly, it's not the Thor, the cinematic universe Thor that we've all grown used to and accustomed to, but it's a new look for him. Uh, also seeing that Marvel is, is, is giving him a look without the hammer, a lot of which we've seen in the comic books, but I'm still at the same time glad they didn't give him that old Odinson look. Uh, to it, it still looks like Thor, still the god of thunder, the Asgardian, but without the hammer. And I think this is a, a, an acceptable change, if, if at all. It's not too dramatic without the hammer turning him into just, you know, his drawstring pants and uh, makeshift cape. It's, it's still okay. He still looks like the god of thunder. So, uh, let's put it off to the side. It balances very well, even without a, uh, he's, he's not being supported by anything. Very nice. Uh, we get a new mold for the figure, and here is the rest of the assortment. He comes with the helmet of Gladiator Hulk, or Hulk, Ragnarok Hulk, as well as the Bruce Banner, the Hulk head sculpt. Uh, very nice. So if you're looking through several on the pegs, make sure you get a well-painted head sculpt of Thor, as well as a well-painted head sculpt of Hulk. Hulk has hardly any issues, just make sure the eyes are straight and that the white tattoos that are painted on his face are not on his eyes. Uh, as for Thor, it's just the beard. Uh, that's the issue. The eyes are painted okay, the tattoos okay, or the war paint is okay. Just the beard, make sure it's on squarely. So, uh, pick this the whole set up from Kramer Toy Warden. And this figure is probably just like the Odinson, just like Loki, will be the last ones to go on the pegs. Uh, simply because, well, it's a popular figure and there's two per case uh, of this figure. And a lot of collectors will just be after the BAF figure Hulk, uh, Ares, Jane Foster Thor, and Hela. Uh, those are probably the figures that are going to go first. So if you're saving money, you pick this one and Loki, the Odinson, last. Unless you can get them all at once at your favorite local hobby shop, just like what I did at Kramer's. Uh, you probably get them at a wholesale uh, price uh, from hobby shops. Okay, so there you go. So very nice looking Thor. He's still that Asgardian. Uh, he still brings that Asgardian feel to him. Very, very nice. I love the way it turned out. Um, the swords, nice. Well painted in that uh, metallic uh, blue or teal that they put it on. Uh, the handles are not painted though, but they're well detailed. Uh, very nice. And he can hold them nicely. I love the grips that it did on him. It's not too tight. It's not too loose either. Um, let's talk about the silhouette of the figure. Very nice. As accurate as can be to the movie. I'm, I'm liking, uh, I'm liking the way Hasbro's done this particular figure. Uh, down to the details of his armor. You get a lot of that war paint on the side of his body. You get some new boots. You even get a removable uh, shin guard or shin armor piece. I wish there were two to make it more symmetrical, but I think in the movie he only has one, so that's fine. Uh, the head sculpt, the helmet is not removable. There's going to be another version of this uh, figure without the helmet. So I'm probably going to be wanting that as one as well. I'm probably going to keep this figure simply because I love the way the Hulk, the new Hulk looks. And then he is going to be paired nicely with this one on the shelf. And he's great. He's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's go to the cape, the cape situation. If you've seen my Loki review, I absolutely hated this thing that Tazbo is trying to do. I love, I mean, the concept of just the capes pegging into the body, I think is a great idea. They just have to execute it very well. Uh, instead of just having a smooth peg on the one on the shoulder, they could put a, uh, a little bit of a flared peg, just like what they're doing in the lightsabers for the Black Series. But this one, this one is a flared peg, see? This one works, uh, the bottom peg of the cape. But this one just keeps on flopping and just being unpegged there's no flaring on the peg and it has to go through two things like the the bandolier or the strap and go through that shoulder hole which is like perpendicular to the body and it's not 
parallel. And that that's pretty annoying. And this was almost a deal breaker for me. Had it not been for the flared peg here, I would have easily, easily thought about selling this particular figure. But as it is, it's okay. The cape will stay on as long as you don't uh, flip or play with the figure <laughs> or mess with the figure too much. It'll stay on. So his shoulder piece that's uh, attached to his bicep, which will allow you to rotate the bicep, rotating that shoulder piece as well. So the head sculpt, uh, the helmet sculpt, I should say, on the help is on the head. It's not hindering any form of head articulation. It's got a waist cape that's made of soft uh, PVC material that's glued on to his waist. Again, talked about already this one. So that's it. Uh, it's got the strap that you can remove if you want to. Very, very nice. You can have him without the cape if you want to. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so articulation for the figure. He's got a ball joint neck that's on a hinge. He's got uh, an ab crunch that's a little bit loose. Very tight ratcheting waist swivel. He's got a ball hinge shoulder, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, ball, ball hinge wrists. Yes, it is actually a ball hinge. I was surprised. I, I actually was thinking it was like a, just a swivel joint because it wasn't doing anything. But it can go up and down, just like a G.I. Joe figure. So you can have him pose the swords this way in a more vertical, more parallel uh, fashion, which is nice. I think that was a nice touch. But the way the bracelets have been molded on the forearms hinders that form of articulation a little bit. Okay, he's got a ball jointed hip that's a little bit hindered by the PVC, soft PVC waist cape. Um, it's got a swivel hip, a hip swivel, uh, double jointed knees, go up to there, and ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints. So, all in all, I like this figure better than the Loki figure. I think I'm going to keep it just to pair it with the, uh, the Hulk figure. And just as a bit of a comparison, here is the Odinson, or Thor, uh, the Ragnarok Thor with the Age of Ultron Thor. Uh, and this is probably still going to be my cinematic universe Thor on my shelf, uh, primarily. Yeah, assuming I get rid of one of them, this is going to be the one that's going to stay. But I do, again, as I, as I mentioned, I love this figure. And it's a great, it's a little bit of a nice transition from being having the Mjolnir and being Mjolnir-less. So this figure is going to get a... Um, it's well made, so I should give it a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. But... Um, that cape, yeah, that cape's a little bit of a downer for me, and um, I don't know what else I'm looking for. It, uh, I, 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 I just feel maybe a removable helmet would have clinched this figure for me, but I'm gonna be kind to it and give it an eight out of ten. Um, so very, very nice. Uh, you can, I'm sure you'll have an easy time spotting this figure on retail because there's cheaper case. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review, the Marvel Legends series Thor Ragnarok Thor. Thanks for watching.